Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show a little tip that I picked up a while ago uh, that may help you if you're working with Git repositories. Uh, in particular, it will help you if you have accidentally done something to a Git repository and want to be able to undo it. Uh, and so without further ado, let's jump into that. So the thing that we're gonna be talking about today is a command uh, that is git reflog. And if you run it, it looks something like this. Now there's gonna be a lot of information here. You don't have to take it all in. Um, I'm, I'm gonna slowly explain what's going on here. Um, but what git reflog does, or what git does, I guess, whenever you do any operation that's going to, you know, cause a commit or change branches or basically change what's checked out or like what is, you know, what is currently being worked on, uh, git keeps a note of that and it keeps a, a log of that inside its, you know, data store somewhere. <laughs> and what git reflog lets you do is it lets you see every single operation that you've done uh, that does, you know, either a commit or a checkout or, or something like that. And you can use this log to revert back to any position in time. Um, now note that reflog is only a client side log, so it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't help you on a server side, but uh, you know, Git being a distributed version control means that you have, oh, someone's calling me, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> means that you have your own copy of all of the commits locally. And so if, um, you know, if you make a mistake locally, you can always revert back to the, the previous mistake. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of this and like how I might go about using reflog to retrieve a previous position in a repository. So I'm currently in, um, in the pre-commit repository, which is a, you know, a tool that I've created. Um, but let's say that we're just, you know, Maybe we're gonna merge a PR. Actually, do I have any branches that I can merge? Oh, <laughs> got a Twitch follow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I should really turn that off while I'm recording. Anyway, uh, so let's merge what? Uh, this branch here allows CI key. Uh, it looks like this branch actually merges cleanly. But anyway, if it, pretend like it didn't or whatever, uh, or maybe I accidentally merged this. So I'm on master, I didn't mean to merge this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the ref log and see what changed and find a place back in time where I can reset to. Uh, and if I do get ref log, actually funny thing about get ref log, uh, before I heard it pronounced out loud, I thought it was pronounced reef log, which is a little bit silly, but, um, you'll notice here, um, this is what we just did. Uh, this is the merge that I just committed and you'll see that it says like, you know, some nonsense, which I don't know what this is about, uh, but it says merge allow CI key. This was the command that I ran and this is the commit that it made. And this is the the reference that's now checked out. Uh, so if you do get log, you'll see that F0481 is, is this commit here. Uh, but if we look to the previous ref log entry, it's here, uh, which points at origin master and origin slash head. And this resulted from a pull dash dash prune, uh, which just fast forwarded the merge. Um, so this is actually the previous commit that we had checked out before. And so I can go here and just do git reset dash dash hard uh, to that previous commit, and that will undo the merge that we just did. So you can see that now we're back at 79359, uh, which is origin master, origin head. And you can also do this for other things. So let's say, you know, I accidentally renamed my package and maybe I added that and maybe I amended that into a previous commit. Maybe I melded that into a merge commit. Uh, my git hooks are a little bit messed up, but anyway, maybe I amended this into here and then I was like, oh no, I accidentally modified a merge commit. That's definitely not what I want to do. And oh no, I changed the history on master. Uh, that seems not good. Um, so I can go back to reflog again, and you can see here that we have the, the commit amend. This is the mistake that I made, and we have this previous commit that I can reset to. So, you know, you can just reset hard back to this, and it's it's like I never did that. Um, also, if maybe I wanted that commit, you can see uh, this commit still exists, this amend here, and maybe, maybe this was a good thing so that I could, you know, reset hard back to the amended commit. Um, and basically you can go back and forth between these. But that's that's kind of the basics of, of git reflog. Uh, I find that it's pretty useful to know this before you're doing other 
dangerous gate operations like amends or rebases or uh, even merges in some cases. I've, I've used reflog to undo them in the past. Um, but I plan to do some other YouTube videos that involve those more dangerous things, so that's why I introduced this one first. Uh, but hopefully you guys find reflog useful. Uh, it's definitely saved me so much time. Uh, where I would previously previously have just like recloned the repository or like completely redid a patch from scratch. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. And if you guys found this useful, you know, um, give me more suggestions for other stuff to do or leave a comment below or reach out to me on other platforms. But thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.